Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome D and A. DNA Route presents. Jupiter, like, this is the going to the house. Oh, oh. There are people watching. I'm going on. The electricity on the crowd is so dark. Whoops! <laughs> Disgusting. Awesome. Ew. That was a chicken right there. It's the, it's the official chicken month. And this is Cheska. So what do you feel about today's society? What about you? What do you feel like in today's society? <laughs> 
That means so gay. <laughs> Video. <laughs> so Joshua, what do you feel about today's society? <laughs> this is another television. The food. It's gonna be called. This is outside. This is outside of the house. And this is, yeah. This is the alternate van. And this is, uh, this is the, uh, the car. That is the. That is the. Uh, us walking. Yeah. This is so mean. I want to show my stuff. Cameraman is gone. I'm the official cameraman now. That is the entire neighborhood. That is our open neighborhood right there, son. Yeah, that's right. And it's almost Halloween. Like, have you ever seen a black person with hair like that? A what? Like daddy's hair. Yeah, like, so in the in the in the nineties. So now we're at home. Um, this is basically down the view downstairs. This is basically my place, uh, my recording sessions. Those are the instruments right there. So, just to let you know, I'm Mark Cruz. I'll be here to show you the songs and other stuff that DNA, DNA has been doing for the past four years. Um, now, some songs that I do are mostly about like, rock and blues. And to show DNA as a rock band, but the lyrics of the songs are not just not just the rock and roll life with the trappings that comes along with it. It's like a song. Some song talks about my faith in God, my views in life, my my ego, my pride, and personality, and my personal life, and also to show like what what DNA means as a rock band. The song Angel From Above was, um, the music was composed uh, later on in the Christmas of 2007 and then I made up the words and uh, composed the, the lyrics in like early, the next month which is like the years of 2008 and um, it, is song, it is a song that was recorded for the Truth album which was a uh, and I was planning to um, like to write a song with that, that meaningful lyrics because I've never wrote a song like uh, like uh, I never wrote like a deep like inspirational songs before and that, and that was the first time I've ever wrote something like that. The story behind that song really explains a person who was raised by by a family with different types of religions. I know like some people are like in too much conflict. They're they're worrying about today's society and like that person doesn't deserve to to, be, to believe in that re and follow that religion because they only they only follow it because their their parents believe on it. It's also about finding your your purpose in life. Like this song kind of tells and makes you think, what is my purpose in life? My purpose in life is to believe in the truth. And believing in the truth doesn't mean like you believe in it because like somebody tells you to. Because like I believe in, in in order to believe and have that and have that faith, you have to you have to be sincere on that if your beliefs. Because if you don't believe in it, you don't have the guts and in, in your heart to believe in it. Because what's the point of believing things if you just if you just don't have the heart? And your heart will tells you whether you whether you mean it or whether you just or whether you're just saying it or whether you're just like following what following what you're raised with and as a young kid it doesn't really matter because like you're you're under the age of accountability but it doesn't matter what the age is what age you are as long as you start to know what's good or bad what's right or wrong it's about choosing what do you think 
and whether your heart says and whether and whether your and your minds your mind says that it's it's the right time to follow and observe depending on what you've been through and also depending on the teachings that you're raised with.